Hugel culture. So what is it anyway? Well, for starters, Hugel culture is a German word meaning hill culture or mound culture. It has a history going hundreds of years back being used in both German and Eastern European societies as a way to utilize the available plant biomass materials that surround us, effectively composting it down into the soil, sequestering the carbon, and allowing for the growing of plants, creating a more drought tolerant raised bed that will continue to build the soil. Now there's many different ways to build a hugel culture and it really does depend on your location, what you have available to you on site, the slope of your landscape, and the goals for your property. I turned to hugel culture initially because I had an abundance of organic biomass material coming off some of these larger ornamental trees in the yard that were here before I arrived. After looking at all the options, I came to the conclusion that the best way to harvest those organic materials with the least amount of work and the least expense was hugel culture. Now initially I tried to run all these branches coming from these trees through a wood chipper. That ended up being a lot of work, made a lot of noise, and to me I just couldn't justify doing this year after year. Now of course I could hire a landscape company to come back, trim back the trees and take out the branches, but that can become very expensive and not very sustainable in my opinion. And because I'm capable to get the work done myself, I'm more interested in just streamlining the operation. I also looked at the possibility at chipping up some of the excess branches in the yard and converting that into biochar. But nothing compared to the possibility of actually burying this wood along with other organic biomass in the yard and turning it into a raised garden bed. So as I had mentioned before, there's many different ways that you can create a hugel culture, whether you're using large logs from cut down trees or just branches from backyard trees, wood is one of the key ingredients to making a hugel culture work. Now it's best to add older wood into your hugel culture that's had a time to decompose and break down. Usually between a year and three years is best. You can also throw fresh wood into a mound, but fresh wood mixed in with the soil will initially tie up nitrogen. It's important to note, however, that that nitrogen will then be re-released into a mound after a period of time when it begins to decompose. So if you're looking to plant edible crops and such in your mounds immediately, you want to try to use older wood up front. Now depending on the diameter of the wood you put in your hugel culture, that's going to determine how long that hugel culture is going to actually remain a hugel culture. What I mean by this is by including smaller branches in the main structure of your hugel culture, after just a few years that's going to break down and be pretty much a mound of premium soil. Whereas if you fill the core of your hugel culture with larger logs, it's going to last a much longer time before breaking down into pure soil. So again, depending on your goals with your mound, you can play around with this. So my hugel culture mounds, and I have three of them back here, consist of smaller logs, some larger branches, and also smaller branches, as well as leaves, wood chips, native soil, potting mix, coffee grinds. Many different materials have been used in the construction of these hugels. I also trenched down beneath these hugels about three feet on two of the mounds and filled that with hugel culture material as well. So in my experience, each year the hugel cultures reduce in size by about two and a half feet. So basically, if I wasn't constantly adding to these hugel cultures rebuilding them, they would quickly reduce to a smaller mound predominantly made of soil. This actually works out very well for me because I'm able to add to these mounds each year as I do pruning on some of the trees around here. As I'm adding on to the hugel culture each year, I'm using mostly smaller branches and I'm mostly lining the perimeter of each bed, leaving the center of the mound mostly composed of soil. And then I top those smaller branches with soil throughout the winter, allowing the rains to soak into the mound, helping to spread that soil into the crevices of the sticks. And then I'll give them a nice good covering of wood chips, creating a nice skin on the surface. Now when it comes time to planting, I just push back the wood chips, push back some of that top layer of soil. I may even add in some more soil in that spot, equivalent to maybe like a five gallon pot's worth, and then I'll plant right into there. This has shown me great results, and like I had mentioned, as the mound breaks down over time, it just gets better and better. Now in the first two to three years, depending on where you're at, you may have to add a little bit of water to the mound throughout the summer if you've got plants growing on it, which is just fine. What ends up happening is as the mound breaks down, all the different biomass that made up the hugel is now composting down and marrying together and becoming like a sponge, which helps add to even more water retention capabilities in the mound. So is it drought proof? No. Is it drought tolerant? Perhaps. There's a lot of factors to consider and a lot of it has to do with how you construct the mound. Is it in full sun or part shade? Is it primarily made up of wood or is there plenty of soil mixed in? Did you build it on contour of the landscape with a swale on the side of it? All these different factors are something to consider that will contribute to your results. For backyard gardeners with an abundance of biomass available on site, I find hugel cultures to be a great way to create a natural looking raised bed. And I just want to thank you all for tuning in today. And as always, I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Out in the world and out in your garden, 
planting more abundance in your life. Take care, everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon.